Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about ICMP protocol, which is a very important protocol in network layer. So, so we will see what this protocol is, what it does, and at last we will also see how ping command uses I ICMP protocol. So let's first start with what is ICMP protocol. So ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. Okay, and this is a part of network layer. Now, what is the use of this protocol? It is used by hosts and routers to communicate network layer information to each other. So if host and router, if they have to communicate some information regarding network layer, like network layer, then they will use ICMP protocol. And you will better understand when we see some examples of this. And the most typical use of ICMP is for error reporting. So for example, when running a telnet FT, FTP or HTTP session, so if you are running telnet session to some host or FTP session to some host or a HTTP session to some host, okay, you may have encountered a message such as destination network unreachable. I, I mean, you would have seen this a lot of times on your browser itself, right? When you're opening some web page, you would have seen this uh, uh, message that right? destination network is unreachable. Now, how do you get this message? So basically, ICMP protocol helps in that. This message ha had its origin in ICMP itself. What would have, what would have happened uh, is that at some point, an IP router was unable to find a path to the host specified in your telnet FTP or HTTP application. So basically, let's say, let's let's take a simple example of uh, opening a web page in browser where you saw this destination network unreachable message. What would have, what would have happened in that that case is that. So whatever web page you are opening, right, that will have a associated IP address with that, right? So let's say some IP address is there for that, okay? Some IP address. Now let's say that a router is not able to find a path to this IP address, whatever IP address is of the web page, right? In that case, what will happen? This message will be seen, destination network unreachable on your browser, okay? That, now what will happen? If the router is not able to find a uh, path to this host, then it will uh, the router will create and send a type 3 ICMP message to your host indicating the error. So you see how ICMP is used for error reporting. So of course there is an error here, right? There is no path to the IP address, right? Web page IP address. There is no path from one router to that IP address. So that means there is an error here and ICMP helps in uh, reporting this error. Now let's look at the IC ICMP header format, which is very important. And of course, ICMP, as I told, it's a part of network layer itself. So you, you have the IP packet itself here, but you, you see there are two parts here. One is the IP header part itself that we have discussed also in network layer, the IP header part. So you have the version, header length, type of service, all of this. So I'm not going to discuss again all of this, TTL and protocol, all of this. Source address and destination address are very important in IP header. I have discussed this in, this in a separate video in network layer. So I will paste the link of that video in, in the description and comment. You can watch that if you are interested in knowing about the IP packet. Now here uh, for ICMP, you have some additional fields. If you see there are, there are some fields which are associated with ICMP header itself. Those are type here, okay, code, ICMP checksum, and then you have optional data here. These four fields are there which are associated with the ICMP data. Now let's try to understand different ICMP message types. And this depends on the combination of ICMP type and code that we saw here, right? Type and code. Depending on this combination, you will have different uh, meanings for uh, different messages, okay? So if the I ICMP type is zero and code is also zero, that means there is an echo reply uh, from a host or a router. And this is a reply to ping that we'll see later, okay? Similarly, if the ICMP type is three and code is zero, then uh, it means destination network unreachable. For let's take the example here, right? So we saw here message destination network unreachable. So in that in that case, a uh, IP packet will be sent from router to the host. Okay. So let's say this is the host. Okay, which actually sent the request. Okay, for that IP address. And let's say there are a lot of routers in between. Like there will be a lot of routers in between. And let's say one of the router. Let's say this router was not able to find the path to the whatever address you have mentioned, right, uh, on your browser. So of course you have mentioned the web page name, but that will be converted into IP address on the background. Now this router basically will uh, reply, okay? Since it has not uh, found the route to the source, it will reply with, uh, basically type will be, if you see the type here is three and code is zero for destination network unreachable. So it will type will be three here, code will be zero. 
and it will send back this IP packet to the host. Okay, and when the host will get this IP packet, it will see that okay, the IP is three and code is zero. That means okay, basically the uh, destination network is uh, unreachable. It will understand that and it will show uh, that on your browser. Similarly, there are others also. I'm not going to talk about all of this. I will only talk about ping command in this video, where we will use the echo reply and the echo request. Basically, zero zero. And then uh, echo request is eight zero. Okay, this one and others also you would have seen right a lot of times. For example, TTL expired, a destination network unknown, destination host unknown. You would have seen this a lot of times on the browser itself. Now let's discuss about ping command and see how uh, uh, ICMP protocol helps uh, ping command. So ping command is used to determine if a remote host address or host is reachable or not. So basically, if you want to test if a remote host is online or not, whether you can reach that host or not, you can use ping command for doing that. It also provides RTT from client to server. So RTT means round trip time. Okay. So of, of course, ping command will help you in determining, I mean, if the remote server or host is online or not, and it will also provide you round trip time. Okay. Like how much time it took from, uh, let's say, Let's say this, this is you, your machine. Okay. Let's say this is your machine. And let's say this is the host that you are pinging. Okay. Now there will, there will be some time that will be taken right from for a packet to reach from here to here. And again, go back from here to here. Right. So this is basically, so let's say T1 is the time that is taken from your host to the destination host. Let's say this is a destination host and T2 is the time from destination host to your host. Okay. So round trip time is basically T1 plus T2, okay, overall time taken in uh, this packet journey. So therefore, ping command can also be used to check network latency issues. Ping uses ICMP protocol, okay. Now what ping does, ping command sends an, so in ping command what happens, it sends an ICMP type 8 code 0, right. That means what is type 8 code 0, if you go here, if you see type 8 code 0 is type uh, is 8, code is 0, this is this, this, this one, that is echo request, okay. So basically it sends an echo request to the specified host, which is a destination host there. Okay. Now the destination host seeing the echo request. So the destination host will see that. Okay. Uh, this, uh, I mean, your host has sent this type eight code zero message. It will see the echo request and it will reply with back with a type zero code zero. Okay. ICMP basically echo reply. If you go here, you will see type the first one type zero code zero. That is echo reply to ping. Um, let's take the example that, okay, the destination host is not online, not available, right? Then what will happen? Basically your packet will time out, right? Whatever packet you have sent with type 8 code 0, the echo request, it will time out and you will understand that, okay, you are not able to reach the destination host. So that's how ping helps in checking, right? Whether the uh, remote server or any other host is online or not. Uh, this is a ping command example. So just uh, like in Linux or even in Mac, right? And even in Windows, it's uh, mostly available in all the operating system. Just if you uh, type ping and ping followed by the, what is the IP address of the, I mean, the host that you want to check whether it is online or not, not right? Just mention that and you will see, right? Uh, you will see it will keep pinging and it will give you a lot of data. So 64 bytes from like, it has got the IP packet, right? 64 bytes of, of data from there. And you can see this is sequence number zero. It will keep on doing, right? Uh, till you basically uh, cancel this one. Now TTL is 54. And time, if you see the round trip time, right, it's around 59 milliseconds. And you can see like same request is happening again and again. It will keep on continuing that. Okay. And you can also like after canceling, you can also see the stats here for ping command. You see four packets transmitted. You can see four packets were transmitted here. And also we received four packets. Okay. That means there was no packet loss. So that means the uh, host is online or available. So if you are seeing some packet loss, that means there is some issue between I mean, network connectivity between your host and the decision host. But if you are seeing no packet loss, that typically means uh, everything is fine. So this is the Wireshark capture for the echo, re echo request. So basically in the ping, right, as I told you, right, first it will send a echo request, right? If you see here, so you can see all of those are, there. it's a frame and you have the, uh, you have the ethernet, right? Basically the data link layer, you have the source MAC address, destination MAC address. Then you have um, IPv4 addressing here, source address and destination address. And I told you, right, this uh, is an ICMP is also a part of uh, network layer itself. Uh, or here, uh, like IPv4 is also a part of network layer. So it comes here. So you can see type is 8 here. You can see clearly type is 8, echo ping request, and code is 0 here. And you, of course, you also have checksum that I have mentioned in the header format, right? 
and then if you it, 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 it also telling you that reply is in one three seven six frame number. Now if I go to this echo reply, okay, so echo reply, and it's the Wireshark capture of the echo reply. Again, you can see right uh, source and destination MAC address. Then you can see source and destination IP address. Source is I mean you are getting a reply right. So the source will be source will be one dot one dot one dot one. Destination will be your machine here. And then you can see ICMP uh, protocol is here and type is zero, code is zero because that's what happens in equal reply. And again, checksum is there. So that is the format of ICMP protocol. We have also seen that in the header also, right? So I have not expanded the uh, IP header here. So of course you will also see all of those, right? Like if I expand the uh, IP header in the Wireshark, you will also see all of these like version header length, TTL protocol, all of this, but you're not seeing there because I, I all, because I only wanted to focus on the ICMP header parts. That's why I expanded that part only. So that's all for this video. And I hope that you would have understood uh, what is ICMP protocol and what is the use of it. So basically do remember that ICMP protocol is mostly used for error reporting uh, on the network layer. Okay. So if there are any issues on the network layer, this ICMP protocol can be helpful in reporting the error. And you'd have seen one of the examples, right? If a destination host was uh, unreachable, for example, right? Or if the, even the destination network is unreachable, for example, right? In that case, uh, this ICM protocol will help in reporting that to the host. And how, like I have also taken the example of ping comma, like how ping helps in uh, making sure that if the host is online or not, you can check that using ping command. Now, of course, you can check the latency also. What is the round trip time between your host and the destination host using ping command. Now, in the next video, I will also uh, show you another example uh, where we can, we, we, where we use ICMP protocol, that's trace route. So that's all for this video. And if you have any doubts regarding any uh, anything in this video, do ask that me in the comment section. Thank you.